When you start going to the gym as a beginner, or for the first time in a long while, it's normal to feel self-conscious. This may be because people are insecure about their physical appearance, or their unfamiliarity with how to perform certain exercises. I want you to know that these feelings are totally normal, and you shouldn't let them get in the way of you working out at the gym. To help you feel more comfortable, here are seven things you should consider trying out. Recognize people are there for themselves. You need to realize that a vast majority of people at the gym are focused on their own workouts and goals. They have their own objectives and routines, and are way more concerned with what they need to get out of their gym session than with what you're doing. So they're likely not paying as much attention to you as you think they are. Like them, you should focus on yourself, your workout, and what you need to get done before you leave those doors. Start with easy exercises. Another way to feel less self-conscious at the gym is to perform exercises that are easy and that you're confident you can do. Familiarity can help you boost your confidence and help you feel more at ease in the gym environment. This could be jogging on a treadmill, hopping on an elliptical, or using strength machines. And if you're really new to working out, then I suggest for strength training that you start using machines. They're much easier to use than free weights because all you have to do is set a weight and follow the instructions on the machine. And I have a playlist on how to use different machines right over here. And as you become more comfortable in the gym, you'll be able to incorporate new exercises and new equipment that you'll later find easy to use. Bring a friend with you. Working out with a friend is another great way to reduce gym anxiety because they can make your workouts more enjoyable, offer support and motivation, and even help you perform new exercises. When you're with a friend, the workout becomes a shared experience and you two can enjoy pushing through the challenging workout together. You'll find that your attention is more focused on you two rather than whatever it is that you're anxious or insecure about when you work out alone. And if that friend happens to be more experienced at the gym, then that's great because they can show you how to do things that you may not be familiar with. And they can also spot you if you're performing a challenging exercise. Exercising with a friend also helps you become more motivated and helps you stay more consistent with your workout schedule because now you're more accountable. Focus on the progress you've made. With every workout, you make more progress towards your goals. So redirect all of your focus on the progress you've made rather than what other people are thinking. We all start somewhere, so it's important to recognize all of the improvements you've made over time. This progress can be measured by the successful completion of a workout, improved form or technique, or the adding of more weight or resistance to certain exercises. Celebrating small victories and milestones will help you build your self-confidence and remind you that all of your efforts at the gym are paying off, which should help encourage you to visit more often. Choose less crowded gym times. If busy and crowded environments contribute to your self-consciousness, something you might consider doing is going to the gym at less crowded hours. These busy times may vary based on your gym and location, but from my experience, the busiest hours are in the mornings between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. and when people get off work between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. Going to the gym outside of peak hours can provide a more relaxed and less intimidating atmosphere. Equipment will be more readily available, so you won't have to wait as long, there'll be more space for you to perform different exercises, and the gym will be quieter, so you'll likely be less distracted. Increase your exercise knowledge. Taking the time to increase your knowledge about exercise form, techniques, and equipment can help boost your self-confidence because you'll know more about how to execute different exercises. You can Google different exercises and equipment, search for video tutorials on YouTube, work out with a friend, or hire a trainer. This will help you feel more confident and allow you to expand your workout routine because you'll know how to get more done in the gym. Take small steps out of your comfort zone. Lastly, tying into increasing your knowledge, actually taking those small steps out of your comfort zone can go a long way on your fitness journey. These small steps can be trying a new piece of equipment every workout session, increasing the weight or resistance on certain exercises, or attending a group fitness class. There are plenty of new things you can try at the gym, and by doing so, you'll discover just how capable and strong you are. Just remember that feeling self-conscious is natural, especially when you're starting something new. Over time, as you become more familiar with the gym environment, and gain confidence in your abilities, those feelings of self-consciousness should go away. Focus on your own journey and remember that progress takes time. And with consistency, you'll reach your goals. Now, if you're ready to increase your exercise knowledge, check out this playlist right over here. Good luck on the rest of your fitness journey. You've got this.